You about to go bye-bye? Keela, come here. Keela. Keela. You about to go bye-bye? Say one. Uh-oh. Whoa. Count one. Oh, now you're interested in falling. Okay, so we about to go. And they go took us. Hi, Tuckers. Say, what are you doing, Mama? You always doing something. You look so cute, Tuckers. You gonna say hi to the camera? <laughs> All right. We waiting on, uh, we waiting on Akila. Okay, sit. I want to take pictures with my other phone. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, everybody. I'm at the emergency with Adriana. She's having 104 temperature, so we her trying to figure out what's wrong with my tucka tuckas. You gonna say hi to people? No. My baby, she ain't feeling good, but I don't know what's wrong. It just happened out of nowhere yesterday. So we here at the emergency room. Me and my sidekick. So hopefully, won't be here too long. Okay, so this is me trying to do. Oh my god, I hate. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, so. This is me. I just try to uh, do bigger braids. I'm not a big braid type person. So this is my first time. I'm good at little singles, but the big parts with the big braids is like so difficult. My hands can't do them, but I tried. This is my first attempt. And to me, I think I did pretty good. Um, I do see where it could be better. But I think for my first try, I did pretty good. She just got her a nice little ponytail. And it's just the last her, you know, for school, you know. It should be in her head for a couple of weeks. This should be good enough. But that's Angel hairdo. You like it, girl? Yes. All right. Okay, so I'm about to go and... Hold on a second. Oh, uh, you know, yesterday I had took Adriana to the... To the emergency room because her temperature was extremely high. Um, they found they ran every test that they could run and they found nothing to be wrong with her. She got blood tests, urine tests, um, even a swab for 15 different viruses, and everything came back negative. They really just didn't understand why her temperature was so high. And they said, well, with her blood test, they're going to let it sit and grow and see if anything grows on it. But other than that, they just called it a viral, maybe a viral infection. And just to keep giving her Tylenol, that's just a little, just a little update on what um, <laughs> me taking her to the emergency yesterday. So today, um, I've been trying to do um, angel hair for the last three days, and I'm glad I finally finished it. Um... Honestly, I'm mentally drained and every time I don't think about it and I hate because I hate to pinpoint this is why I'm depressed, but is is it makes you it helps you a lot to realize and understand why you may be going through these things. Um my brother died January 13th, um, 22 years ago. And it still feel like it was yesterday. Um and I think, you know, it's uh, lately I've been telling my husband since like before my daughter's birthday. Mind you, my daughter's birthday is January 12th. And before my daughter's birthday, I've been telling my husband, oh, my God, like I feel mentally drained. I'm having these anxiety attacks, I feel like. And um, I don't know what it's from. I don't know why I'm having it. Um, I think something is wrong with me. And then, um, you know, my sister text me yesterday and she was like I love you and I'm like I love you too how you doing and she like man I just ain't been doing good lately you know 
<sighs> it's been 22 years since our brother died, you know, and around this time I get physically and mentally drained. Um, and I felt it and I said, damn, I knew around Christmas time, you know, this is why I feel this way. But afterwards, it hits you harder. It hits me like it comes on me with a rush of emotions. And it's all the emotions at once. And I promise you, if I can yell, scream, cry, laugh all at the same time, that's what it felt like. Um, but like I wanted to tell my sister, it's totally understandable and don't feel bad the way you feel if you just can't get out of bed. You know me, I have to, you know, especially around my daughter to birthday time, I can't. And I think that's what drains me even more and makes my anxiety attacks come because physically I want to sit down. I want to, mentally, I can't think or like really function. I force myself and that's the hardest thing you could ever do to not want to do anything and feel so bad, but you have to, you have to. And I think that's the hardest part. Um, and that's where the anxiety attacks come in at. But like my husband say, I'm strong and I'm going to get through this. And I thank God for him because I don't know mentally where I would be if I didn't have him to talk these things through. So I want to tell my sister also, you know, confide, confide in your husband a lot. I mean, that probably will help you out a lot um, just to have that person to talk to. And you already know you can call, text, you know me, and we'll get through this. we we'll probably be crying together, but girl, we're going to get through this. <laughs> but, yep, I'm finna, um, it's raining outside. Yeah, I don't take Adriana out when it's raining, but I need to run to Walmart real quick. So I'm finna run to Walmart. I don't know if I'm gonna take y'all with me because you know I always at Walmart. Shit, I go to Walmart all the time. But no. Oh, let me tell you guys. So that's why I say I don't know what my husband listening to, but let me cut it down because he be on some other st listening to all type of stuff. But um, I was up in the middle of the night, maybe like two, three weeks ago, and I seen this infomercial for a shark carpet cleaner. <sighs> that's why I tell you, I can't, I can't, I can't. So then just so happened, I'm up again and the shark carpet cleaner come on again. And I'm like, oh, look, this is the carpet cleaner I want to order. This is the one. Da -da 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 -da. And my husband paying me no attention. And he just like, all right, going to get it. So I call him, I get it, and I order it and I get it in like two weeks. And I'm so happy because it also come with a steam mop. Oh my God, I cannot wait to show y'all this shark um, carpet cleaner. They said it's better than the ones that the professionals use. You know, because I got a carpet cleaner. And when I use it, and I think it's a hover, a hoover, a, you know, one of them. And um, when I clean my carpet, it just leaves so much. It don't suck up a lot of water. I mean, it's, it, it sucks it up, but it still leaves a lot down. And so, and me, especially when I'm doing my kids' carpet, they want to run back in there. They want to go back in there, but they can't because the carpet is, like, so wet that I got to be like, no. Or I got to leave their stuff out their room, taking up space that I really don't have space for them to be taking up with all their stuff out the room for their carpet to clean. So I'm really looking forward to this. I can't wait for this to come, and hopefully, I can't wait to show y'all. Um, I ain't going to lie. I do like Shark. I got me a shark vacuum and baby, that vacuum does the job. Like it sucks up. Yeah. Yeah. And because I got a, um, a cordless, um, vacuum, they too, um, sensitive, very, very sensitive. One day my husband was walking out the closet and knocked my whole, um, thing down. It just knocked down to the ground. And, the part that's on the floor that rolls, it stopped working. All the other parts work. Like I can, that's why I'm gonna use it for the vacuum for my car now because all of that part works. But just the main part that I needed, 
don't work anymore. And that's just, and I spent too much for that back in, but <sighs> yeah. So, um, yeah, so shark vacuums, I really, really like it. And then it comes with, you know, them old school, um, rollers that's in there that get the hair all tangled up and got the little, like the, the, the other stuff, but the, the newer vacuums come with a plastic. So it's like the hair cannot, it's like a newer kind that the hair cannot get rolled up in it. Like I love those kind of like, you sold me, you sold me, sold me, but yep. Okay. I'm talking too much already. Seven minutes and I just want to update y'all on Adriana going to the hospital. She's doing fine. My baby girl is 15 pounds, almost 16 pounds. Her chunk of knock a butt. And, um, yeah, so I'm finna get ready and go to Walmart and then get back. Because today is Saturday. Um, I really don't have anything planned but trying to get some hair done. I am going to go and clean. I am going to probably, I don't know if I'm be having it in this video or have to edit it into another video. Because I try not to give y'all a lot of long videos. But I said thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody that wished her a happy birthday. And I appreciate everybody that came through, liked the video and everything. But, yep, now I'm finna, um, oh, should I put on some eyelashes while I'm looking crazy? And to why I haven't got my eyebrows tattooed on yet, um, my husband already gave me the green light. He already said going to do a book it, da 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 Me, personally, I like I've already said in thousands of other videos, it's hard for me to spend money on myself when it's, to um i can i see things that i can be doing for my other kids like my daughter's birthday that just passed um i got three kids birthday that's back to back one on the 15th one on the 19th one on the 21st of next month back 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 so like to me that 400 dollars that i'm gonna spend on my eyebrows to be tattooed can go towards my kids and i'll just wait till march because <laughs> you know your girl birthday in march <laughs> Hi Aries, everybody that's an Aries, get this uh, video a thumbs up, but yeah, so I'm finna get, I didn't already said that, but I'm really finna get ready, I'm hot, I'm in this hot robe, and I'm finna to go and go to this store real quick, hopefully I only go and get what I need, and not just roam around, so I'll be back with y'all probably when I'm cleaning my living room, like I, I was, that's what I was trying to say, I am gonna be cleaning my living room, I've been asking my son, and it's crazy. My husband say you be asking and you should be telling. But I have. I've been telling him to clean his living room. Mind you, it's his chore. I've been telling him to clean his living room. So I'm going to go behind him and clean it. I'm going to show y'all how much I had to get up after telling my oldest son to clean this living room for over three days. That's getting on my nerves. Okay. I'll be back with y'all. Okay. So I'm about to start cleaning this living room don't judge me judge your mama but yeah i just bought my husband this the other day i need to get put that in the garage no i haven't finished fixing this need to but um i've been i need my husband to help me so because i need his power drill i need to just go buy my own but yeah so this is still not put together this is not none of this stuff none of this stuff goes in here but as you can see people put it in here but this right here is a um remote control going again anthony yeah i know where it's at never mind this table i told you guys the other day i went to go um oh Stuff out to go pick up it's a light table and you can also use this to put stuff on it but um i really like it look it, it changes colors so it's for the kids and this is a really really cute table um this is another thing i went let me see i'm trying to cut it off it won't be too much um man i told y'all i went to go get some math um things say hi keila 
Say hi. Hi, Mom. <laughs> hi, Mom. So this is um, some mad things that I went and got. I cannot wait to start working with the kids. Thank you. Don't play with that. With this, uh, especially um, my five-year-old. Um, this one, I really like this because um, it's I'm working with what two numbers make a number. So this would also help him with his math because it's adding. And then, oh my God, I can't wait to because um, even though Akila is one, she know how to count to 10. So, so proud of my baby. My baby may be a bad blood baby, but she's a smart bad blood baby. And I cannot wait to work with her with this right here. Um, um, going through the different sizes, the matching colors. And I'm um, just picking out how many and all of that. And this right here goes on the, uh, how could you say it, the light table. So you'll put this, like let it go in there. Or they even gave me another good idea like flour or sand. So I was going to buy some kinetic sand. And then let them like write or look through the numbers or get like clear different um, things like cups or blocks or you know stuff that they can play with that's on here so the light can shine through oh, it looks like somebody the one thing i don't need is for this to get open but um yeah they gave me a lot of different bags for the kids which i'm kind of you know scared to i i don't know if i'll open these because like i said a lot of this, this to me it looks just like a choking hazard but um, if I'm watching them, you know, I probably feel a little comfortable. But like I said, I probably feel better with them playing with like kinetic sand or something like that. Because um, Akila is still in the age of putting everything in her mouth. So, yeah, I'm still, I don't know about this. But believe it or not, um, this place is called Lake Shore. This table alone I think they said it's five hundred dollars. You know, these look at the bag, of, the bag of things. Thirty dollars just for this one bag. Or now I'm confused because it got two prices on there. Um, a stuff like this. They, I, oh yeah. So, cause look, this bag, and they're called sensory beads. It's $69. So I don't know what was $29. Oh, a, a snap simple edition. I think that's this right here. This was $29. Um, they gave us like, they gave us a lot of stuff. This game was what? $32. So, um, the company I went through, um, I told y'all before, like I go to them for diapers and all types of stuff. And I also work with them on this in the play groups that my, oh, let me turn y'all. Yeah, so I look a complete mess because I'm about to start cleaning. It's Sunday and I'm finna uh, clean my living room and get everything back in order for the week because the kids was out for the whole, the kids was out. All last week. I was so excited. But now they're finna go back to school. So I'm finna get to uh I'm finna get to cleaning. So I ain't even finna talk this make this long talking video. So y'all finna see me get the cleaning and that's about it. I'll be back with y'all. <laughs>
got in a whole brand new bag. I'm running around like I missed it. Elliot, jewelry moving like juicy. Like Talking about then it hit me. Look, I just leveled up, I thank God. Scrape from the mud, now it's time to get the pie. Sweat, tears, and blood, you can see it in my eyes. My future turning up, what it's time to be alive. I'm that nigga, I don't mean to brag. But I'm getting too nice with this. Ain't no way that I'm going outside. My pockets been heavy as shit. The bank is full of the blues. Bitch, I'm happy how that contradict. Yes, sir. Same way I had to go harder when I found myself down on my dick. Me, me, me. See, need a bitch to stoop. My ex tryna check it so that bitch go explode Find me at the rich, throwing cheese at the pub I'm vibing in high place heat. Oh my god, I'm super excited They said it'll be here in two weeks And it's only been a couple of days And I got my packages ow, ow. So I'm super excited I'm gonna open this stuff up I just gotta make sure y'all can see my <laughs> Pull up, you will get done I'm just playing But let me, um Ooh, 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 I'm so excited because now I get to clean the carpets. Who get excited about excited about cleaning something? Only a mother will get excited about cleaning something. I am super, I'm juiced, but um, maybe I should go on and open this up. But you know what? No, I'm going to finish with this. I need to, um, I'm going to put the little boys' tables together. I need to put their dresser together. I'm waiting on my husband to help me with this place set. I need to get these boxes out of my living room. So let me start. Let me open up what was here already. And then we'll get to this. What's under that sink that got this thing under here so sticky? Here, Tari. This in the um, back in the door. garage. So, unresolved depression symptoms were in my way. I needed more for my antidepressant. Grandma helped give it a lift. Adding regular to an antidepressant is clinical work fever, stiff muscles, or confusion, as these may be life threatening, or uncontrolled muscle movements, which may be permanent. Multi left. Atari. Stomach and sleep issues, dizziness, increased appetite, and fatigue are also more common. Side effects may not appear for several weeks. I don't have to change my treatment. I just gave it a lift. Ask about Valor and learn how Abby can help you save. Okay, so um, I just got through mopping the living room. I'm not done cleaning, but I'm not going to be able to put everything in this one video. So I'm going to say hi, Adriana. Taka, 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 taka. Say hi. You say hi. Say hi. <laughs> so I'm going to finish cleaning. And then I'm going to start putting stuff together. I think I'm going to do the table first and then their dresser. So I'll have all of that in the next video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. Hey, and we on the road to 1K. All right. See y'all in the next one. Bye.